No one cared who I was till I put on the mask. Hello, welcome and thank you for joining another episode on the Aldo Moto YouTube channel. So I've just posted a few Instagram pictures of me wearing the Rare Bird face mask. So I thought I'd just give you a few more uh, details on what it is, what it's about and why I bought this one. So Rare Bird are very, very quick to point out on their website that there are approximately 4.2 million deaths a year because of air pollution that's backed up by WHO statistics. Uh, so they've gone about and tried to make something that can not save you from um, air pollution, but also look functional and uh, be functional and also look very stylish as well. And my first impressions are very, very good. Um, I've used this for now for the past few months um, with open face and full face helmets. So uh, I was gonna look at um, a variety of helmets today um, an open face helmet, my uh, Bell Bullet helmet, which is sort of a mid-season helmet, and my Sherry Glamster, which is more of a winter um, helmet as well. So in terms of the what you get for your money, um, these are around 50 to 70 pounds. So they're not cheap, but they're extremely, extremely well made. Um, from the stitching and the materials, it's 100% British tweed wool on the winter collection. And there are some linen and lighter fabrics for summer layers. My version is a silver herringbone wool, um, and they're waterproof and windproof with soft shell lining. Has soft suede trim around the edges, and a, what's really useful is a malleable um, nose bridge. Breathable vents. Uh, into the uh, middle which makes it very very easy there's no restriction on breathing and it comes with as you'll see inside the pocket here is a replaceable anti-pollution filter which has been installed and you can replace those you don't need to buy a whole new mask they do recommend that it's uh, dry clean only and what i really like about the brand that there's all these masks are made in london as well there's some really nice little details stitching around the logo and having owned a previous bag company, this I can tell you that the stitching is very, very good um, and it's a very, very comfortable um, piece of equipment. What I do really like about the, on the strap here, you've got the Rare Bird um, imprint on the strap here as well. So what you are getting uh, good quality for your money. Um, it does sit across, across the top of the back of your head and it's really easy with a Velcro strap um, to go around the back of your neck. So. Um, I would put this um, on first and then I put my jacket on and then I put my helmet on as well. So just looking at the uh, bell half face, uh, this goes on really, really easily. And what this really enables me to do is wear this sort of all year round. So um, it's really, really comfortable. Um, you can probably hear me as well, which is good, um, but it does protect you all around the sides here. There are some gaps here, which is gonna, it's not, completely sealed tight um, but I think it looks great and allows me to uh, wear the open face helmet where I wouldn't normally uh, wear it throughout the year. So looking at the mid-season helmet, with, I used this today, um, so this is a, a real world clip um, pushing it uh, down. The mask does fall down sometimes when you put the helmet on, especially if your helmet is tighter than normal. If you do, if your helmet is a little bit bigger um, then I think it will go on no problem but I've got no problem with just um, pushing and pulling the mask up a little bit just to help it protect you a little bit more um, and get it comfortable on your face. So I'd rather do that and have a tight seal and be comfortable than have it loose um, around my face or any airflow around my face. So I think that works really well and it works really well for me, especially if I have the visor up on the helmet. You can see also that this, um, the metal here, you can push and you can roll this down um, so if you are at a coffee shop or if you do want to speak, you can roll it down nice and easily. I sometimes roll it down as well like this if it just gets too warm um, and then you can push it back up and then it's very, very malleable. No risk of breaking to get a nice firm seal around your face. So on a more robust helmet on the Shuri Glamster, I've got a chin guard here on the Glamster as well. Um, so let's keep that in as a, a good test. This is the first time I've put, done this on the Glamster. So yeah, needs some encouragement. Definitely needs some encouragement, but however, with a little bit of maneuvering, um, I can get that on nicely, and this will be even easier without uh, the chin guard as well. So that's really, really comfortable. And I could do my helmet up, no problem. And it just gives me that extra uh, wind protection, especially with the vents um, either side. So that's really, really comfortable. I have no problems riding with that 
um, keeping me um, guarded around the neck area as well. There are of course other options you could just when you've got a neck scarf or whether you've got a shemag um, which I have as well for different occasions but this has always been a go-to piece for me um, especially in the cold weather um, I've got the wool one I will look at getting the summer version as well with mean, that neck um, clasp around the back of the neck as well just holds it really really tight in place and has never let me down so if you do like it there's some links below to get to the rare bird site I bought mine from Urban Rider and I think they've got some special edition ones as well so that's it from me. Um, hit like if you like the video, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I will see you in the next one.